And man, that, that really gets to me. You really don't want to make a mountain out of the molehill. <laughs> that was great, dude. That was, that was really good. Oh, yeah, and like... I'm not very aroused right now. Uh, but my name is David Bacon, and yes, everything is better with me. Thanks for asking. Ladies. Gentlemen. Everything. Welcome back. Welcome back. Dude, they had theme songs back then. Comedians open cards! Welcome me! Still Friday night, still at the open mic in Swansea, New Hampshire at Frog Brewing, and I got another open micer, and it's... Aaron Richter. And I've been doing comedy for five years. Five years, and it shows awesome. So, there's a bunch of cards, they're on the table, pick something out. Uh, well, Terminator is my favorite movie. Awesome. Now so that's T2. T yeah, T2. Well, they're both awesome. Two right. cards. This is cool, man. Yeah, that specific, where did I yes. get that one? I do not recall. I probably, I bought them on eBay. How I long sell would you things say on this eBay. has been, been in the binder? Oh, well, this whole thing is only, uh, well, I, the first pe people I filmed was in May, but then I went away for, a, I went on the Appalachian Trail and said, just, so I've only done this for like, eight, there's eight episodes, so eight weeks. I just would like to acknowledge to our, to our audience that the way you said you went away and then you mumbled <laughs> Appalachian Trail, it seems like there's something you don't want to reveal and we don't have to get into no. it. But the went away on the Appalachian, we, we, don't, we don't need to get into it. It makes me feel like, you know what, maybe we'll open a different pack of cards. Right. The first one's like that, that, like a noir, like a really like Arnold's bad. That's where it that drops out like an egg or something. That first one is that the one? Both of them. They both both have yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and and like it's a totally dark feel. Like the first one, it just has this like noir feel, and he's bad. And then I heard that in the second one, people at the time didn't know that he was going to be the bad guy. So oh. it was like this big secret. Right, right, like, right, like, right. like Cameron and everyone like kept that as a secret, right. and then he fucking comes out and he like saves the kid, and they're like, "Oh, I was the good one this time." Yeah, I remember. I remember the first one. I'm hard, having a hard time remembering the second one, but it might be rated R. Uh, the second one I think is rated PG-13. Oh, well, maybe that's why they have the cards then. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, Miles Benedict. Do, do I show him to the camera? Yeah, show him to the oh, camera, yeah. and then Just talk about whatever you you know. The Pescadero State Hospital. That's where. Uh, Sarah Connor, fucking, uh, she escaped, and then Arnold and her, uh, John Connor came to come and get her. Mm. She was a total fucking badass. She's like one of the. She worked out before that too. Oh, she was all yeah. muscular and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, she was. She was awesome. She like put a. What did she do? She put a pen into like uh, fucking uh, the main doctor's name. She was just like, yeah, she was. She was fucking built. Oh, to escape or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and and there was one part where she's like running down the hall, like, and all the like the hospital crew are following her, and she locks a door behind her and fucking breaks the key off in the lock. Right, right, right. I was thinking even then, like, how fucking hard, like, how hard that would be to like break a key off. Yeah, you gotta be like a mechanic to have those real strong freaking <laughs> yeah. fingers. And well, she, she was doesn't. Working, yeah, she, well, she, she don't have. Them. She was working out all the time, she's, though, man. Like maybe she's giving a lot of hand jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this is Mild Bennett Dyson. He was the guy that, you know, kind of took over, uh, uh, like, uh, he was in charge of all the research. And, the, and there was one thing about this guy that always kind of bothered me. Really great actor, but he has a mole on the white of his eye. Oh. And that was always, like, distracting. I'm like, I, it's, like, it's, like, distracting, and I'm like, does that hurt? Like, I'm like, like being him, I'm like, can he feel that? He must, he must be used to it by now. I mean, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So I was like, oh, man. But, um, oh, yeah. And this, this scene is where Arnold fucking, um, he's at Benna Dyson's house. And they're trying to change the, the future. And John Connor goes, oh, show me your room to this, to this uh, Miles Benna Dyson's son. And fucking Arnold takes a knife and cuts his fucking arm. And then you can see all the like robot inner work. Oh yeah, 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 so yeah, fucking yeah, 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 creepy. Yeah, yeah. Arnold on way better than the six million dollar man. Oh yeah, yeah. it was so it was because so the six million awesome. dollar man, the toy, they had a little like plasticky thing that you would you would roll up to take out the like bionic part of his arm or leg. <laughs> oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Because oh. I'm that old. 
I'm not. Yeah, exactly. Um, um, Arnold's bike. He, I mean, nothing has to be said about that. You know, yeah, that's he, a cool car. He's just fucking that's a cool. cool. Car. That's a cool I car. will say though, his stunt double in the movie, he has the stunt double like goes off into the dam or whatever, whatever they're in. It, lo- it looks nothing like Arnold. It is the worst stunt double. Right. That's why <laughs> they don't give Academy Awards the stunt doubles, because they don't even want to match like, him up on that one. They don't even try trying. Yeah, he's like, he, his stunt double is like Mexican or something. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it looks yeah, nothing yeah. like him. It's like five foot tall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wearing like a sombrero. 75 um. pounds of wet. <laughs> I'm um. not making the next joke. <laughs> not doing it. Yeah. So, so this is where Ben Dyson is dying. He has like the whatever, like, this detonator thing. And this is where he has the mole. Like, you can really see the mole mm. in his eye. And, man, that, that really gets to me. You really don't want to make a mountain out of the molehill. <laughs> that was great, dude. That was, <laughs> that was really good. Oh, yeah, and, like, John Connor's, like, a, a little fucking whiz with his... Oh, uh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He I can, remember like, that. Break yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, like, the movie's, like, starts... We, like, meet him as he's, like, um, hacking an ATM machine. That's when they had all those hacker kids. There was always like a little kid in those movies at that time where they were like a yeah, yeah, Mr. Yeah, hacker yeah, yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and they never explain hacking in these movies. It's always just ha- like, oh, I got into the government mainframe. Like, how? Right. And, and there's no talk. Like, the real thing is the talking. It's like yeah, yeah. they usually hack by like talking yeah. to the person and getting the code, not just <laughs> typing shit in. Yeah, they, have, yeah. they don't do that first part in any of these movies. <laughs> and like back like 30 years ago, like how secure were ATMs anyway? You know, like, you know, he had that whole machine. You could probably just, you know, take any card, put any pin in them. Oh, yeah, there were ways to hack those uh, ATMs. They used to read about that stuff. They probably didn't even have cameras on it because that was like, you know, I don't don't know. Sarah Connor, fucking badass. That says uh, Sarah Connor. I'm wait, I I have to go. I'm sure they always had cameras on their ATMs. I mean, the bank's not dumb. (laughs) I mean, I I have to say they had some. Even if it was like a black and white, those little things. Because... They would just, people would just, although they do steal, some, back in the day you would hear every once in a while like a truck would come and like pull the whole unit out of the wall. I remember hearing that. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, there wouldn't have been a camera yeah. for that or they would have got the, pla- or maybe they got the camera with them. I, I don't, don't know. know. No, well like even now, like cameras are such like bullshit. Like they'll be like, you know, trying to catch like murderers and stuff and they're like, oh, let's refer to the, you know, alley cam, whatever. And they, the cameras still look like they did 30 years ago. Mm. You know, like it's still like grainy and shit. I'm like, come on, yeah, yeah. we need better technology. If you want to, like, you, you you can't even tell um, what the person looks like from from the uh, you know the footage. Like, but, yeah, yeah, like yeah. what's the point? You wouldn't know. You know, the one that was weird was the guy. That guy in Vegas who killed like 150. Yeah. They, they would show the video of him like walking, like here he is, because it's because yeah. it's Vegas. Yeah. So they have cameras everywhere, and those cameras are actually good because they really want to catch people. So there they like they were following up the hallway, like they had yeah, those videos yeah. after yeah. the show. Here yeah. he is here, here he is here. They really could track you there. So don't commit crimes in Vegas. Do you want to hear a crazy story? And this is 100 percent true. Yeah. Okay. I left. I was in Vegas, and I left the day before that shooting happened. Oh, I'm wow. not even fucking kidding you. I was there with my dad. We, we, so this is that was your this is your alibi. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got I got home and that shit just plastered all over the news. And I'm like, holy fuck! Wow, like, I was there. That's yeah, yeah, pretty close. Mandalay Bay. Uh, oh, um, I don't want. I'm gonna end yeah. with the. So um, okay, so we get. I'm gonna end with. So we get. Oh, gotta refer to this one. This scene where she's like, she's like, I wanna. I want to see my son. I'm feeling much better now. She's trying to really play like she's a totally sane to... Right, to, right, right. To get to, out. To Dr. Silberman. I remember his name. Yeah. yeah. Dr. Silberman. And, like, she's all just calm. And then he's like, you know, you're doing a lot better, but I think we should wait six months. She goes fucking ape shit. Like, right. so crazy. Like, I remember watching this movie, like, having to turn the volume down at that time because she goes fucking nuts. And, and, like, if I was Silberman, I would never let her. Right. Um, but, okay, so this is her firing on the T-1000's chopper. So the T-1000, he's a fucking badass. He's one of the best villains. You know, he, he steals the guy's motorcycle. He steals a truck. And then at the end, he's in a fucking chopper. And then she's in, in a van with everyone. And they've barricaded the door and windows with bulletproof vests. It's just all bulletproof vests because it's like a, a, a like a like a, 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 a SWAT vehicle, and she gets shot in the arm while she's chasing him. But it's just such a fucking great chase scene. And this, like, as a kid, I would get sad when this movie ended, 
And this was just like, just, oh man, when, when Arnold gets lowered into the, the uh, hot lead or whatever, mm. oh man. He's like, I cannot self-destruct, so you have to lower me down. Like, bitch, just jump. Was this the one that had that, the, the one guy who was the lead, the guy that, like, morphed? Yes, the metal? Was this, yes, yes. That, 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 that technology was, like, crazy at the yes. time. Oh, it was like, oh my god, it, was, it blew us away. It still holds up. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. That, That's how fucking good it is. It yeah, yeah. still holds up. I remember up. that, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. man, this is, uh, you, got, you got to see this, because one is great, but one, just, they just have two different feels, like, yeah. three... And like those movies don't exist to me. Yeah. Like, like there was there was a scene at the beginning of this movie where he walks into a biker bar. He's completely naked. And he walks into a biker bar, and they're all like, "Who the fuck is this guy?" He's yeah. Naked arm walking in, and he just totally rocks these motherfuckers, and he takes some like. Harley. That's when he steals the bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and he, he their just clothes or to- something. Totally fucking. So in the beginning of three, I'm sorry, I'm going long, but yeah, it's in, all good. in the beginning of three, he fucking. Uh, it kind of sets it up. It's just a stupid joke. He, he walks into a bar and you think he's going to be badass again. Um, and the sign says ladies night. So yep. he, he walks in. It's all male strippers. Right, right, right. And he, right, fucking, right. he fucking walks out with like star sunglasses instead of the, the cool. Right. But that was probably the best part of the movie. And then it all went downhill from there. <laughs> so don't see three. All right. <laughs> So yeah, just sign one for me and you can oh, keep the rest of you so oh, desire. Awesome. I love this, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what a great venue this was. Oh yeah. yeah real yeah. crowds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real people in the audience laughing. That's what you gotta love. I'll give you uh Arnold there. You gotta have Arnold. Nice. You gotta have an Arnold card. Gotta go with Arnold. Yeah. Oh, no, right, man. This was a lot of fun. Awesome. Thank you so much. And what was your name again? Uh, Aaron Richter. Aaron Richter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Andy Richter. Yes. You same got it. same last name spelling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's Gerhard Richter or something like that, who's like a big artist in, uh, I think it was from like England or something. I don't know. Yeah. Like a huge, I don't know if it's the same spelling though. No. Yeah. Who cares? No. Nah. You know. But, but this was a lot of fun. Oh. This, this guy's great. This All guy's right. Great. Well, that's the end of the show. Go watch live comedy because that's the way to see comedy. Hello, uh, Frog Brewing. It's a 580, not 420 in this uh, town, I think, and uh, I'm glad we can all drop some F-bombs, but I think if you drop them, they actually don't like it here. And uh, I'm glad no one's playing beer pong in a freaking video game form. That might be the saddest thing I've ever seen. Um, I think you can play that game for free if you just have these red cups, but maybe this place gets quarters or 50 cents or dollars or whatever. Uh, I hope all you, I don't know if you guys, did you see that Barbie film? Anyone see that Barbie movie? Uh, because of you, I think, um, who makes that? Milton, who makes the Barbie? Uh, Mattel. Mattel makes uh, that shit. They also make like, Uno. I think there's like 40, and I'm not, I don't know the number. It's like 40 or 50 freaking stupid toy game things that are now in production. Honestly, they're working on making an Uno movie. That, in the future, a movie about the game Uno. Because you all watched Barbie. Uh, I know they made Clue back in the day. They made different endings, I think. I never saw that. Um, I like that they have the frogs here. Uh, if anyone wants to play uh, Banana Grams later with me, I'd love to do that. Um, I don't see any of the coloring things, but there's a lot of crayons. Uh, I'm not going to do that stuff. Um, the thing I'm most curious about in this environment is... What is the next painting going to be? Because we have an empty canvas, but it's slightly hidden behind. I don't know if we'll have to move the beer pong away to fill up the painting or what they'll do. That's my banter. I'm not very aroused right now. Uh, but my name is David Bacon, and yes, everything is better with me. Thanks for asking. Ladies, gentlemen, everything. Embarrassingly, I'm still learning to read, so I'm going to be practicing tonight with this little notepad. Teacher, be proud! I'm actually cheating. It's like comics want you to, they want to pretend, they want to pretend that they haven't prepared the material, so they memorize it. None of them did well in school. So I'm just going to cheat. 
like I did in school. That's why I'm in a bar. And I'm, well, I'm not old as, there's older people and there's younger people. And I came in, there's like a little kid, and I'm like, okay, I can't say the F-bomb, but then it's on the wall. So I guess I can. Um, I don't know how much time we get, but my four minutes or five, or it might be too meta for this young crowd. Uh, I mean Metamucil. <laughs> I want to start by addressing the obvious elephant in the room. All these damn donkeys! That's my political joke. Hotter, stay up. <laughs> uh, so, what year is this? 2024. Oh, uh, I was gonna say that's not a rhetorical question, but you, <laughs> you guys answered. <laughs> so, I'm gonna have to go back a page. I'm gonna start by addressing the obvious elephant in the room all these damn donkeys. That's my political joke. So, what year is this? I was gonna say that's a rhetorical question. I wanna start by addressing the obvious elephant in the room. These freaking people are answering my rhetorical question. Wait, do I want? Do I, I don't know if I want. I just wanna be aroused. So we're almost a quarter of the way into the 21st century. Oh, I get the light. With some fun new inventions? Not all good. Still this crappy mic. We kind of have some crappy cars, but if you put traffic going on their head, they pay a dead on the hedgehog. Boo hoo. We're getting scary and scary robot dogs. You can mount guns on them now, but they're becoming both cops and robbers. Boo. Uh, uh, no boo. Uh, can't play them really dead to get into the kids. Uh, Red Rover, Red Rover, stay the F away. F bomb. Uh, but shoo. Uh, but even though comedy isn't the biggest new members, we're giving take ideas. What the fans? Why are we still on the. Uh, 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 bye. Good. Thanks, so Dave. Much.